People of the state of Michigan versus Brian Swinehart. This is file 1620901. Mr. Swinehart's here on a warrant that was issued when he failed to appear for his show cause hearing on May the 17th, 2021. He was supposed to appear at that time and explain why he should not be held in contempt of court for not paying on his court obligations. Contempt of court can result in a sanction of up to 93 days in jail per each occurrence of contempt of court. So before we went on the air, Mr. Swinehart, you provided us with a new address uh, and we've entered that into the computer. Uh, what happened that you did not appear on May 17th for your show cause hearing? I didn't know. I, I haven't been paying attention to it. I've been, I'll pay closer attention to it in the future. I mean, I'll try to. Okay, well. You were in jail in January, and the notice was served on you by the jail uh, for the May day. Now, you may have forgotten about it, but you got notice of it. Uh, and then we sent the warrant after it was issued to your old address, and it hasn't come back. So somebody got the mail there uh, notifying you of the warrant. But again, you know, this has been going on since 2016, and you know that we have these hearings every month, and you know that we need to collect on these old cases. On this case, your last payment was made in April of 2018. You still owe $472 on this case. And then in the 2008 case, you owe $1,121. In the 2013 case, you owe $196.12. In the 2014 case, you owe 196.13. In the 2014 case, you owe 237.60. In the 2019 case, you owe 237.60. And in the 2020 case, you owe $210. So again, you got arrested this morning and you indicated that police were called because you were sleeping on the sidewalk uh, at one in the morning outside your daughter's house. Um, that you've had some medical issues that you've been getting addressed. And because of those issues, you're unable to work. Um, so Mr. Swinehart, the last thing I want to do is waste the officer's time and the jail's time and your time having you get arrested. It's very simple. This has been going on for five years now. You just got to show up for these hearings, keep them straight. That's why we give you the notices. Uh, either make the payments or show up and explain why. But if you don't make the payments and don't show up, you know a warrant gets issued. And then you know you're going to get arrested. You're going to get paid the booking fee. You're going to have to go through sitting in jail. And once this is, uh, you know, the COVID thing's all over, which we're almost to, uh, then I'm going to be doing more than just time served on these cases. So uh, you need to get everything straightened out. And again, I understand if you can't afford to, do it. I mean, right now, there's all kinds of stimulus money and there's all kinds of support out there. But whatever's going on in your life, if you can't make the payment, show up and tell me that. But don't just ignore everything and wait for the warrant and wait to get arrested. So uh, next court date is July 19th. I'm giving you one day credit one day again. And make sure you either make a payment or be in court on July 19th and explain what's going on. And also, it's helpful if you provide us an address. You don't need to, uh, we don't need to send you the warrant, but at least you wouldn't wait to get arrested. You could take care of it before that. Um, and with that, we will see you in July if you can't make the payment, okay? Okay.